there's a lot of things that I had to really keep in mind as an amputee, thinking about that every second of every frame, of every action, of every moment, um, what that looks like. Uh, psychologically what that feels like walking with a certain there's a certain uh, hitch in my step there's a certain gait in my hips um, that these individuals go through when they're an amputee the bond that uh, that will my character will has with his wife Sarah is a very strong bond and they were bonded by um, by an extreme circumstance that takes place in the beginning of the movie um, and uh, they, they become married and they have children and they're very happy. And much like a lot of these relationships, like a lot of relationships out there, like a lot of marriages out there, uh, it goes through its ups and downs, but they're at its core is something very special. And also at its core, the one leans on the other and the other one leans on the other one. And in this case, um, you know, I found myself a really amazing wife who I was able to lean on the number one anchor is family and the bond of family because it is regardless of race or culture or class or religion uh, the ideology of family and a bond of a family um, everyone relates to i think there's something very visceral about a, a family uh, being torn apart and the parents doing everything that they can to protect their family and protect their young I really enjoyed fighting with Pablo, who's just a fantastic actor. Um, and, you know, when, when I first heard Pablo Schreiber was going to be casted in the role, I thought, great, I loved him as an actor, and then I see him, I meet him for the first time, he is a big bastard. This guy is big. Uh, and I don't often kind of look up a little bit at guys, but I look up at Pablo, and, it, and it immediately informed what kind of fight this is going to be. He puts my head through a TV, he takes my leg off, he kicks my, puts me through a wall. At the end of the day, we wanted to make a movie that, uh, that was about a man who, around every corner, in every scenario in this movie, was barely surviving. I mean, barely surviving. But every inch of his fiber, his soul, his constitution, his DNA, uh, won't let him quit and won't let him stop. He just keeps going and going and going. Hey guys, so what did you think of Dwayne Johnson in that video? He seems to be on the up and up in Hollywood these days. But did you know how he got his start in Hollywood? Well, from all accounts, it was his Saturday night live appearance with fellow wrestlers Triple H, Mick Foley and The Big Show that kick-started his career in the movies. Johnson started receiving offers from Hollywood studios after the success of the show. Now, he was so sought after for roles that the first time in a leading role for the movie The Scorpion King, Johnson took home 5.5 million and registered his name in the Guinness World Records for receiving the highest salary for a first time leading role. Hmm, not bad, hey? Do you like The Rock as an actor? What's your favourite movie with him in it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to watch more videos like these, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. See you next time.